Oh, hello there. I'm Becca with the Houston Public Library. Get your supplies ready, because it's craft time. So to make these recycled plastic flowers, you're gonna need some water bottles. The first design I showed you is a stargazer lily. This one looks a little bit like a daffodil. And you can just put them together and come up with a new design for a flower if you like. So here we go. You're gonna first need some newspaper. Just lay that down and cover your area. Some scissors. And you're gonna need some paint, some paper plates, and some brushes. And of course, some bottles. And a Sharpie. So here we go. You're gonna mark where you're gonna cut off your bottle. So there it is right there. And um, you can choose to make it different sizes based on your bottle. So here we go to cut. Um, it looks like we might need some help from an adult. So here you go. Since I'm an adult, I can do it myself. And you don't need to cut the whole thing for um, whoever's making this. So you can cut it with the scissors. There we go. Came the part really easily. And we're just going to use the top part. So now we're going to mark where we are going to make our petal cuts. So um, making them towards the neck of the bottle and you can decide to extend it all the way. You don't have to. It's just like a little guide so you can see where you might cut your petals. And there we go. You can see I'm cutting the petals going straight from the larger opening to the smaller opening. And there you go, nice and cut. And then we're gonna bend the petals back just so we can start creating the form of the flower. There you go. And now we draw the petals on. I like doing like a little arch, as you can see here. Don't worry about messing up. You can always cut it. So then we start cutting out the petal shapes, going around to each petal. Some of them might not be uniform, but you can start forming it a little bit better from there. After you're satisfied with your uh, petal cuts, then you're gonna pick a color and paint it. You're gonna have to paint it two times. Pick your first base color and paint it two times on. So here I go. It just it has to be a little bit of a rough paint and just cover it as a base. Next, I'm going in and painting another coat after it's dry. You don't want it to smudge. And then now you can put in the details. I'm just kind of putting little random specks, mixing the paint drawing out a couple of lines, and there you go. Oh, I decided to add some yellow. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed today's craft. For more activities and content, check out our Facebook, YouTube, and social media. For more library fun at home, stay safe, wash your hands, wear your masks, and join us for another craft time.